An update now on a News 5 investigation into the struggles of hundreds of veterans exposed to toxic agents while serving overseas. The vets all served at a remote base in Uzbekistan after 9-11, a base that was highly contaminated with known carcinogens and radiation. Bill Riles reports many female vets are beginning to report diseases they believe are being caused by their service. Female veterans like former Army intelligence analyst Elba Barr believe the four months she spent at the remote Uzbekistan base known as Karshi Kanabad, or K2, is behind her chronic reproductive health issues. There's been something massive since 2013 every year, medical-wise. As we previously reported, K2 was found to be contaminated with almost 400 separate toxic chemicals and radiation. Some 15,000 service members were deployed there between 2001 and 2004, conducting missions in support of the war in Afghanistan. K2 was, to me, a, a base that should have never been a base, hazards signs everywhere where your hazards were. CBS News reported Barr is one of more than 200 female K2 vets who flooded this Facebook page, now a nonprofit, the Stronghold Freedom Foundation, which tracks these cases. The organization says 40% of the women self-reported at least one miscarriage, 8% reported breast or uterine cancers, and 30% reported ovarian cancer or related issues. I had cervical issues, um, continued to having severe pain, um, endometriosis, had to have a partial hysterectomy. Last year I had both of my ovaries removed and they found onset stage one cancer. Hundreds of service members have reported a variety of illnesses they believe are related to their service at K2. We spoke with many who live in Northwest Florida near Hurlburt Field, home of the Air Force's special operations, which conducted many of the missions from K2. Over 600 hours of um, chemotherapy he actually, they discovered brain cancer. I had two different types of primary cancer. Uh, my stomach ruptured and exploded. But for many of the vets, the Defense Department and Veterans Administration have yet to establish a link between their service at K2 and their illnesses. We upheld our end of the deal and it's on the VA and it's on the Department of the Defense to hold up theirs. Acting Defense Secretary Christopher Miller has drafted an executive order that would include the Uzbekistan base as a zone of combat operations that would cover the vets who haven't been able to get help. And he believes President Trump will sign it. So far, these vets are still waiting. Bill Riles, WKRG News 5.